this is probably the toughest division in football right now. The 49ers, the Rams, the Seahawks, the Arizona Cardinals. I personally have the San Francisco 49ers winning. I think they will go 13-4. and four. Just to talk about San Fran for a bit, do you think they'll finish at the top of this division? I I had them at 12-5. and five. So, first in the division? Whether, it doesn't matter who starts for me. I think Jimmy G will probably start, and I think he's good enough to keep them under control. But I think that defense is still going to be one of – like I'm going to be safe and say top seven, top eight, but it's going to be one of the best in the league. And I think the offense with Kittle – Debo Samuel, now you get a full year. Brandon Ayuk, if that's how you say his name. Brandon last Ayuk, yep. Yeah, I think him, you know, coming into his own last year really helped him in developing that receiver spot alongside Debo. So I think that's really good. Raheem Mostert is going to be a good running back for them. So I like their team, and I had them number one. Too. I don't think they'll be number one personally. I have the Rams winning this division. Not to say that the 49ers aren't going to be solid this season. I think that as long as they remain healthy, we saw that that could be an issue for them. I do believe that they're going to be among the better teams in the NFC, but I do think that this is the Rams season. I think that Matthew Stafford is going to transition very well into McVay's offense. He's played in a significantly worse offense over in Detroit and has had success. Now he's going to one of the best offensive minds in the league, giving him Robert Woods, giving him Cooper Cup right off the bat. It's unfortunate that Cam Akers had to get hurt because I believed in Cam Akers. But Daryl Henderson isn't a slouch when healthy. Now, Daryl Henderson struggled with staying on the field. But ultimately, I just feel the Rams as a whole, offensively, defensively, obviously they have the best defensive player in Aaron Donald, the best secondary player in Jalen Ramsey. You lose John Johnson, which definitely hurts. But overall, that team is one to be reckoned with. Yeah, and I I think the Rams if they're not one they're two for me they're two I think they'll go twelve and five the Niners thirteen and four the Rams also got Deshaun Jackson which if he stays healthy can be a great vertical threat I think Stafford is going to have a top ten quarterback season in McVay's offense because it's the first time that he's in an offense that is going to cater to him and that is going to run the ball in Detroit you never had a great rusher there was never a great running attack now you're with the Rams. They're going to run the ball. They're going to insert these zone running schemes and, you know, pass out of play action a lot, which is going to help Matthew Stafford. In terms of the defense, they lost John Johnson. I think that was a pretty big loss. But with Aaron Donald there, they'll still be a top defense. I have San Fran because I just think fully healthy. You look at the roster from top to bottom, the roster is just better. Like the offensive line, I think favors the Niners. I think the weapons – with Debo, George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk, who I think is going to have a breakout season. I think it favors the Niners, the running backs with Raheem Mostert. Then you look at the defensive line. Even though the Rams have a great defensive line, well, I would say they have a great player on the defensive line in Aaron Donald. Yeah. But you look at the Niners with Javon Kenlaw, Nick Bosa, D. Ford, Eric Armstead. Nick Bosa did not play yeah, last year either. All those guys are there. You look at Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw. I mean, Top to bottom, they just have a stacked roster. Seattle, I have it eleven and six. You know, do you think Seattle misses the playoffs, or do you have them around that? Well, um, ah, that's I think this this division is gonna shoot out three teams to make the playoffs. Well, now whether it be you know whether we see a Kyler Murray jump or the Cardinals just come out and start firing, you know they can do that. But I I have I have the Seahawks at eleven and six. You know, I think Russell Wilson's there, so when he's there. You know, you can't really count them out too much. I had them finishing third. I think, you know, just to get this out of the way, them and the Cardinals are going to tie. It's going to really come down to the end of the season for them. 11-6, and 10-7, and seven, it's going to be one of those for them. But I think, you know, with Seattle, their team is really constructed on how far can Russell Wilson take them. And I think he's, you know, elite enough, and he's shown us that he can at least take them to the playoffs. Yeah, I- I've made the mistake before of – thinking Seattle wasn't going to make the playoffs. Because yeah. last year, I thought their roster, top to bottom, wasn't very great. But Russell Wilson has obviously shown that every single season, he's going to carry the load for Seattle and, and win a bunch of games. So because of that, I think... I wouldn't be surprised if they missed it, though, this year. You think so? Yeah, this I think year, the roster's a little bit better. Just because it's the NFC so stacked this year, and with you know with the resurgence of the, you know... Um, damn, damn, I just had... Of the Rams, you know, Cardinals are getting better. It's it's really I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Plus the Vikings are back, they're healthy. Green Bay's still around. You know, there's a lot of teams in that FC. I feel like my team to miss the playoffs in the division would probably be the Cardinals, just because they don't have the best defense overall. Obviously, given the fact that Chandler Jones is in talks of potentially being traded off the team, 
even though I do love the idea of Chandler Jones and J.J. Watt being together, that is one That's of the, crazy. the best duos pass rush in the league by far off rip, even before they've even played a game. But secondary-wise, they're depleted really badly. Obviously, Buda Baker is a really great safety in our league, but safety's not going to change secondary for you ultimately. You need corners, excuse me. And Patrick Peterson losing him, excuse me, uh, is losing him to Minnesota, even though he is older, still a, a, a huge part of that, that defense, not only skill-wise, leadership-wise. He meant a whole lot to that squad. And you lose him. I couldn't even tell you a corner on their on their team. Byron dude. Murphy, Byron Murphy Jr. But By- Byron Murphy. they were supposed to have Malcolm Butler, but he's retiring. I did see that. Byron Murphy Jr. is not bad. I think he does have potential to be solid in this league, but still early. It's, to it's tell. it yeah. is still early, and they just lack depth there. And I think that they're going to continue to get torched. But if Chandler Jones and JJ Watt get to the quarterback fast, it could make up for their secondary being spotty. They have that safety too. It's Buda Baker. No, it's another one, or if he, he might be a linebacker. He's young. He just got drafted. Isaiah Simmons. Yes, there he is. Riddick is on. Hassan Riddick is on the Panthers. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so now I'm looking at their offense. Now offensively, this is where things get crazy because obviously Kyler Murray is a, p- a potential top five quarterback at the end of the season, in my opinion. <laughs> Kyler Murray is a great passer of the ball. Wait, wait, wait. He could be top a top five. Five? Yeah. Yo, yeah. you shot so better than Rodgers. No, okay, Wait, hold on, hold on. Easy. So Rodgers, Mahomes, Watson, Allen. Watson. He's probably not going to play this. Okay, season. So Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Yep. Mahomes, Watson. Lamar Jackson. No, so he could be better than him. He has a better arm than he does. Matty, uh, Matthew Stafford. No, no, he'll be. Yeah, yeah I think. He'll be better than yeah, it's. Listen, I don't know if he'll have a better season, but I think he you he could be better than Stafford potentially. Yeah. The top five was Josh Allen. So you said it, Josh Allen, Mahomes. Brady, Rogers, probably, probably Brady, but yeah, it's not. It's not. It, we should bet. I know. I'm gonna bet on Brady because I'm not gonna be a fool. Lamar, he could be better than Lamar. Mm, that is crazy. That he's was a better thrower than he is. Obviously, Lamar is a better a, that runner. Was strong. It hit me at first. I think what's gonna hold them back is that Cliff Kingsbury is not gonna fulfill that offensive potential. I understand what you're saying there, but I feel like up until this point, Kyler Murray's still done a good job to. Overcome. Oh, that. Russell Wilson. Jesus Christ. I'd be, I'll be honest. No. Uh, Russell's great. He could, he could, what are you about he to say? He could pass him. Oh. You're, so you're high think? on Murray. I yeah. mean, okay. Russell Wilson was Kyler Murray. I mean, Kyler Mur- Russell Wilson was Kyler Good. Murray's prompt. Kyle. Absolutely. So you think after this season, Kyler Murray it could, it could be a thing. Could year pass th- this Russell is year Wilson. three for Murray. So you think Kyler Murray's a top five quarterback after this year? He, he could be 100%. We'll definitely. be back for this. All right. Which is fine. Listen, <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to. If you're no stand if, on it, it's of course, dude. Stand it's Kyler it. Murray. That's a very solid dude to stand Tom. on. Tom, I, it sounds crazy, it sounds, it does. but I'm I'm fine saying that. I, I think, say it again. I say top five is crazy because I think it's Rodgers, Mahomes. You have it's Josh Watson Allen, if he plays or not, Lamar bro. Jackson, Russell Wilson. You're taking, that's five. You're taking uh, Lamar over. I Kyler? am take. I am definitely taking Lamar Jackson over Kyler. Mm, you hate debatable. Lamar too. That's he hates Lamar too. I, I like Lamar a lot. I just think Kyler is overall better than he is. Gangster. We'll see. Yeah. I don't know. And you now to continue. On I mean, what I, I was think saying. if you give Lamar the hop, we gonna we would see a different Lamar. Okay, which is fair. But we saw Kyler Murray still be a top quarterback his rookie season. Not a top, but a, a solid quarterback. Now, his he was season. solid. I yeah, say for sure. Top. I wouldn't say top quarterback though. But for rookie season, that was one of the better rookie seasons we've seen over the last few years out of a quarterback. We saw the same thing out of Baker though. Uh touchdowns saw better, for sure. We saw a yeah. better rookie year out of Baker. Baker tough. Uh, Baker's another one. The he thing tough. is that we're not taking into account. His running stats also, because last year he was unbelievable He's running the football. Hell, I get yo. you, but Lamar is the first quarterback to ever rush for a thousand yards and pass for no, three thousand. For sure, listen, Lamar is special, but whose arm do I trust more personally, Scott. Kyler Murray? Okay. Oh man, I don't know. I, I you know, I, I've been I've been on the record saying that I, I'm not. Wait, a what big about fan Herbert? Lamar. Wait, oh yeah, Herbert. I'm forgetting. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, I'm, I'm forgetting here, about here, Herbert, here, bro. I'm here, bro. You know, I think Justin Herbert's better than Kyler Murray. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he like, probably will be like at the end of the next. year. Actually, I'm going out on the limb and I'm gonna say that I think the Chargers at the end of the year are gonna have a top five offense in the NFL. So we said Rodgers, Mahomes, Josh Wilson. Allen. I'm not. T- I'm not gonna give Wilson personally. No, we're saying right now, like as who's the five right now, Wilson. But oh, he's no, saying after the end, end of the season. Oh, the end of the really, season. So you don't trust. I have Herbert as an MVP this season. So I'm. I'm How cool with him. I just <laughs> no, I forgot him too. Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. I'm gonna I'll give I'll give y'all Herbert. So you're saying you're putting Kyler over Russell Wilson. Yeah. Dang, wow. And Lamar. Oh man, I don't know. Oof. I listen, I love Kyler Murray. And now you bring in AJ Green in single coverage. You 
Running backs. I don't backs, know, AJ and, and He had that coverage, last year. Not, but not, he was still in and out of the lineup for he whatever reason. He was getting number reason. ones, though. He, not he didn't want to really ones. play nah, because Higgins the Bengals was. were garbage. Mm-hmm. He was, AJ Green was seeing Denzel Ward, Marlon Humphreys. He was still seeing those guys. He was. When he played. Yeah, but when regard, he played. But regardless of that, he really wasn't. For now, some D-Hop reason, he all wasn't all motivated last season, even if, even though he was playing with the number one I pick overall. You. I mean, I think AJ Green would have a better year, but I don't know. I, I, I'm not saying all, I, I've seen, all world. I've seen Russell Wilson carry squads DK's that have too. no business being in the playoffs. I've also seen Russell Wilson start a season. The first 10 to 11 games, Russell is arguably the best quarterback in the league. Come that last five, four games a stretch, you start to see Russell kind of slow down because he's ta- it's taking a toll and carrying a roster. But is that, it's tough. is that him or just taking they're just taking a toll on because his team? Quarterbacks still do it. You know what I'm saying? The, Kyler it, hasn't. But he hasn't. Stop. How many games did he win last season? He won a good amount, not like nothing crazy. The, and the At least thing, seven. And I the think reason it was. why they were not in, they were good. He was in an MVP discussion for like. The so first you think four Kyler Murray is will be better than Ron Tannehill next year? Yeah. After next season, with Tannehill having Julio and AJ Brown and Derrick Henry. The thing is that when I'm taking into account his still his rushing ability. So you okay. have you have Kyler over Dak then? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. I, I would have Kyler over Dak too. Yeah. I think. I think Kyler's borderline top 10 right Kyler now. Kyler is tough. It, I, I, he's top 10. Top 5, I don't know. I just think those guys are stamped It's right a lot. Now. No, it's definitely a, a, a strong statement, but I'm I'm more than confident saying So you have Cardinals it. finishing at the end of the fourth. It's No, I'm saying that it's it's possible because their defense is probably the worst. Out of all the four Out teams. of the four. Yeah. I mean, I have the Niners first, the Rams second. The Seahawks started in the Cardinals fourth. And then you have Rams, Niners. I have Rams, Niners, Seahawks. So Cards. we're all in agreement yeah. on the first three. Yeah. Well, not really, but Niners, Rams, and Seahawks yep. are the first.